in this module we would continue with the, the applications of musharaka in islamic banking and finance remember we are trying to study islamic modes of financing and their applications in different contexts within islamic banking and finance in our previous module we looked into an example of shirkatul mil and in this module we would try to explain an example of shirkatul aq and that would be by way of uh, diminishing musharaka diminishing musharaka is a financing mode used for the likes of home financing and of course it has applications in case of car financing and similar assets as i said diminishing musharaka in this context is an example of shirkatul aq which gets established with an explicit agreement between the two parties in case of shirkatul milk there is no explicit contractual arrangement between or amongst the parties however in case of shirkatul aq there is an explicit contractual arrangement between the partners aq ka matlab hi contract hai so so there must be a contractual arrangement between the partners before a shirkatul aq gets established in the diminishing musharaka based home financing a number of other contracts are also used notably ijara remember we have been arguing that islamic modes of financing are not just one contract actually these are arrangements which are composite in nature i e in an islamic mode of financing there is a possibility of using and combining many contracts and arrangements and in case of diminishing musharaka two important contracts are used together the concept of musharaka shirkatul aq and of course ijara as i mentioned just a while ago let us use an example so there is a customer which is uh, looking to buy a house and of course after a lot of search on zameen.com for example asking friends and family this person comes to know this vendor this person who has got a house to sell these two people customer and vendor they enter into negotiations on the price and of course other aspects of payment of the price as well and they then one of them i e customer then goes to a bank so before doing so price is agreed between the customer and the vendor and this is something we have already explained in another context in another previous module so after the negotiations the customer then approaches the bank for financing if customer's application is accepted the bank informs the customer of its decision and if the transaction goes ahead then the customer and the islamic bank jointly buy the house from the vendor in this example 10000 dollars are contributed by the customer and 190000 dollars are contributed by the islamic bank which means implicitly i am telling you that the price of the house is 200000 dollars so at this point joint ownership of the house gets established however for practical purposes in most of the home financing products based on diminishing musharaka the bank remains legal owner of the property for the financing period from sharia view point right from the beginning the customer and the bank they are joint owners however given the limitations in a number of jurisdictions legally the bank 
remains owner of the prop property until the end of the financing period. So, after this one, once the house has been bought jointly by the bank and the customer, then there is another arrangement between the Islamic bank and the customer. Islamic bank actually becomes less poor. It actually leases out the house to the customer who starts living in it. And of course, when the customer starts living in it, it will have to pay the rental as well. This rental is paid in such a way that the customer is paying the rental on the portion of the house owned by the bank. Remember, this partnership gets uh, got established in the beginning with 10% $10,000 contributed by the customer and $190,000 contributed by the Islamic bank. So, whatever be the respective shares of the bank and the customer, the customer would be paying the rental accordingly. So, the monthly installment paid by the customer comprised two things, at least two things I should say because in reality there are some other considerations as well. One is uh, rental component, the other one is uh, price paid for buying more and more equity into the property. For example, if the monthly installment is $500, it is quite possible that 200 is the rental and 300 is the amount paid by the customer to the bank on a monthly basis to ensure that after some time at the end of the financing period, the equity of the customer becomes 100%, i.e., customer pure ghar ka malik ban jai, right? So, these uh, monthly installments are paid for the period of financing. It could be five years, it could be seven years, but in most cases, actually, it is 20 years or more. In case of United Kingdom, where mortgages are very frequent and Islamic mortgages are also being offered by some institutions, the financing period is up to 25 years. Now, once all the monthly payments have been paid by the customer and the financing period ends, the customer would become full owner of the property, i.e. it would own the house 100%. At that point in time, the bank would transfer the ownership of the property to the customer. Why this is called diminishing partnership? Remember, in the beginning, the customer had a very small share in the house and the bank had a very big share. With the passage of time, when the customer starts paying the monthly installments, bank's share in the ownership of, of the house gets diminished. Hence, the name diminishing musharaka or diminishing partnership. So, this diminishing partnership is an example of shirkatul aq because it gets established with an explicit contractual arrangement between the Islamic bank and the customer.